Good afternoon all. Unboxing video. And it's this, it's M Cookie. Uh, M Cookie. And this is from microduino.cc and it is the 201 Advanced Kit. So let's unbox. Now this should be a good one because I know that there are lots of bits inside here. Lots of interesting things to look at. Now, how does that come out? It slides out. Ooh, look at that. It's like microcontrollers meets Lego. So what we have here are some stackable Arduino compatible and even Lego compatible. These studs are Lego size and shape. Uh, microcontroller modules including the core USB module. Now let's take a look at the uh, microcontroller on there. And this is an Atmel Mega 32U4, which I believe is the chip used on the Arduino Leonardo. Uh, there's also BM, which is battery management. So a LiPo plugs in there and this can be used to, uh, oh, I don't know, charge, discharge probably. Bluetooth module, so there's a Bluetooth chip on there. We can have a look at that in a minute. Uh, also, there's an antenna there. And uh, the Bluetooth chip looks like it's a CC2541, I believe that is. Uh, sensor hub, which is a, a basically a breakout board with lots of connectors to go off to other sensors. Uh, real-time clock, let's have a quick look at that. So there's a real-time clock chip on there. Crystal, probably 32.765 kilohertz, is it? And there's a tiny little battery on there as well. Uh, audio, another audio. What's the difference between those two? That's the audio shield. And an amplifier. So this will be a class D type audio amplifier. And the critically important thing about this stuff is that it snaps together magnetically. And because these uh, boards have pogo pins, which are spring loaded, they just connect together when you let the magnets do their thing. Okay, let's go to the next layer. And here we have the uh, micro cookie instruction booklet. We'll come back to that in a moment. Now here is a tray full of different sensors. And there's a box here. Let's take a look in there. I think this is the battery module. Ah, oh, no, that's actually an OLED module. We'll get that out in a moment. Uh, all sorts of bits in here. Speakers, quite big ones, actually, for the uh, audio side of things. That's the battery module. Uh, that can take two AAAs. Lots of sensor connector wires, more sensor connector wires, and oh, that looks like uh, a very interesting USB connector. Now, in this tray of sensors, we have a couple of uh, micro switch sensors which are called crash sensors. So, if you build this into a Lego model and it's roaming around, that can detect when you hit a wall. There's uh, a condenser electric condenser microphone there. There's a light dependent resistor. There's uh, an infrared detector there. There's a passive infrared sensor there, a PIR. Uh, there's a couple of multicolor LEDs here. It'd be interesting to see what chip those are using. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. This is just an LED. I'm not sure if that's multicolor. It may not be, it may just be a single color. That's a buzzer and this is a joystick which you can move four ways. Does it click? Possibly not. So this is the M Cookie 201 Advanced Kit uh, from Microduino, and it says here uh, M Cookie. Uh, M Cookie is Microduino's second generation smart modules using the all new implementation of magnetic connectors and pogo pins. They are now much easier to use. The colourful modules can be paired with Lego to create countless projects with ease. So here are the modules, Core USB, Battery Management, Bluetooth, 
the sensor hub, amplifier, audio, the audio shield, and the real-time clock. Uh, next we have the sensors, color LEDs, crash sensors, buzzers, microphone, temperature and humidity, passive infrared, joystick, and light sensor. Uh, there are more. In infrared emitter. Ah, that's what that is. It's not uh, a color LED. It's an infrared LED. Infrared receiver. An OLED display. Now they put that on one of those larger sensors, but without the pogo pins, because I don't think the pogo pins fit on there. So that would be connected via a sensor cable, one of these sensor cables. Uh, there's a USB cable in here, battery modules, speakers, and Lego connectors. So is it just a case of taking the uh, core USB module, which is the microcontroller module, slapping a real-time clock on the top of it, and sticking an OLED on, putting power to it, and it just works? No, not quite, because of course you have to actually load some software into here. Uh, you've got to load the software, compile it, and then download the result to the microcontroller via USB. It would be quite nice, wouldn't it, if these modules had their own flash memory libraries. You just stick them together and it works. But uh, no, you have to install MicroDuino's version of the Arduino IDE. But uh, all that is in the instruction book here. Download the IDE and drivers. Now it appears that um, MicroDuino have built their own IDE. Now I'm not sure whether this sits alongside um, your existing Arduino IDE. I would imagine it would rather than overwriting your existing IDE. I'd imagine the two will coexist. Uh, there's instructions for Mac as well as PC. A little section here on activating the battery module. After you've put the batteries in you have to uh, do something to activate the module. Not entirely sure why that is but I'm sure that will become apparent in due course. And then you can jump in and try one of these projects. Grumpy Grandpa, Cowardly Nightlight, using BLE, Bluetooth uh, Low Energy. That looks very interesting. The M Watch, we'll have a look at that in a moment. The Music Box with Joystick, Joyful Greeter, Say Cheese, and Thermo Cup. So how about this one, for example, M Watch. There's a stack of four modules there that uh, sit on your wrist. Now we're not uh, pretending that it's a practical watch. But we've got the uh, core USB, the real-time clock, the battery management module, and of course the OLED for the display. The battery box sits around the other side of your wrist, uh, on the underside of your, on, of your wrist. A little bit of uh, elastic strapping to hold the whole thing together. That'll be fun, if not entirely practical. But uh, this one looks very interesting, the cowardly, cowardly nightlight. Cowardly because it comes on when it gets dark. That's fair enough, but it's also got Bluetooth control. So this uses the Bluetooth LE module. And then there's an app which you can download and install on your phone, which controls the color of the multicolor LED. So that will be very interesting to see how much code there is uh, involved in this one to uh, get the Bluetooth part of it to work. Uh, there's the uh, QR code for downloading the app. And then it's got the standard color wheel that could be quite interesting. So certainly user-friendly hardware. I mean, what could be easier than just taking your CPU and slapping a real-time clock on top of it, and then uh, a battery management module and a Bluetooth module, and they all just connect together via these spring-loaded pogo pins. I mean, it couldn't really be easier, could it? The thing is, is the software as easy as the hardware? Well, maybe when I start playing with this kit, I might use uh, Mixly, which is a sort of graphical programming thing. So Mixly is visual programming editor for Arduino. Users can drag blocks together to build programs. Hmm, that sounds a little bit like the way the hardware works. That's got to be easier than writing C. So I think when I start using this kit, I'll uh, probably start by building some of these uh, projects which are in the uh, instruction book, the watch and certainly the Bluetooth thing, which interests me. And then when I go on to do my own programming, build my own projects, I think what I'll do is use that uh, visual programming environment, Mixly, 
then I won't have to write any C. So that was my unboxing of the M Cookie 201 Advanced Kit from Microduino. Cheerio.